Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will uh, continue create our tiny house in Philadelphia. So and the plan what we are gonna do today. Today we will finish uh, planning for all uh, our stories. After that we will create like uh, uh, some interior walls. And after that we will finish with exterior windows. So let's get started. The first thing first, we will go uh, to the sum level. Uh, somewhere I have the already the plan, so here we are. This is plan, and I think we will start from this plan. Uh, by the way, if you cannot see uh, what's going on under your uh, level, because uh, you can see, uh, I cannot see my uh, uh, my my image here. Why? Because we are using uh, mm, floor plan. I mean the floor. Uh, just select your floor, double click HH and done. Now it's uh, hide it as you can see, but it's only temporary. So it means when you will close your project and you will open it again, you not will have any problem. It will back. Anyway, so let's start from here. Uh, as you can see, I have already here the hole to the void. Let's check it out. Uh, as you can see, we already finished it. Uh, so that's good. Uh, let's continue to the other level. I think the level one. I will just select uh, this uh, image and we'll copy it. Just let's copy it. Let's go to the um, level. It's this level one. So this is level one. Mm -hmm. This level. And now I will paste it align the same position. Okay, nice. So what we're gonna do now, I will just uh, move it on the right position. So let's move it something like that so and as you can see our holds here now i can see directly uh, so what i'm gonna do uh, let's create the floor let's create the floor as we're doing it so now i don't need this picture so let's select this picture i'll just hide this picture and i will create here the floor let's go to the floor lines this line till here and as you see before here you have the hole so uh, make sure your lines it's closed if you will do like this and you will say okay you will get the problem so you may you make sure your all lines is closed okay so we did it here everything let's say okay uh, not don't I don't attach your walls and your floors we not gonna work with this thing so and I will do like this so here everything okay seems it's everything okay because as you can see it's not going on the right position let's say I'll check oh no this is right as you can see it's still here only so we are good persons so let's say I check let's say I'll check it so oh I have here two actually I have here two floors anyway let's make it right okay so now everything okay and uh, let's let's uh, see what's going on on the um, on the section to create section you just go to the view find here the section and let's make the section from this direction okay and here you will find your first section regulations you know how to create the sections double click here we are i will change the view to the shaded and the fine view uh, as you can see here is my floor it's not so nice to see it let me leave the height line as you can see this is my first floor uh, first floor no this is my first floor this is my second floor and third and on and on so here i have the floor here i also have the floors here we have the floors and here everything all right so we finish with the floors so what we're gonna do now we will create the um, walls because we don't have everywhere the, our walls i will reset my temporary view and as you can see here we have the some walls and in this position too uh, i will do one tricky thing i will go to the basement floor i will copy this two three walls i will copy it and i will paste it to the level one let's say okay let's go to the level one and as you can see it's exactly on the same position what we want 
So let's check it out. Yes, yes, this is what I want. Only the one thing I should make like this. And let's make it bigger because it looks like a bit bigger than I have. And yeah, and positions should be changed like this. Actually, we don't have here a wall, as I can see. Let's make it here. This one I will change. Like this. Now it's okay. No. Let's go to the other section. Yeah, now we get our hole. You can see it here. And here is my floor. Okay, so now I can go to the level 2 actually, right? I hope I'm right. So yeah, level 2. And here I don't have any walls, so I will make the range, my underlay range none. I don't want to say anything what's going on under this layer, uh, this um, level. And as you can see, we don't have any walls here. So, for so, for, 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 so far, so good. Okay, uh, let's go to the level 3. Level 3 here. And what's going on in level 3, I want to see it. Okay, we have here the toilet, finally. Let's copy it. I'll copy it. I'll go to the level 3. So, level 3, and I will paste it on the same position. Okay, awesome. And now I just will change the position of this picture. Let's change the position. Okay, and I will hide my floor. So, then let's draw these walls. Let's say I already forgot which the type of the walls we are using here. So how we can check, I mean, how we can select the same type. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, let's go to the first level. Let's find some wall, as, as you can see here. So it's generic 150, right? And after that, uh, just create the similar. Let's go back to the level 3. And as you can see, generic uh, wall 150, we already have. And let's draw our wall. Don't try to make it right on the right position because we will change it later on. So, <laughs> and finally, we can change it right now. So, as you can see, I'm so perfect. I did it 100, uh, 1300 millimeters exactly. So, this is what I want. And let's check this position. Uh, here I want only 3000. Let's make 2000. So, this is really what I want. Uh, let's check the other walls. So, we don't have any anymore, any walls here. Let's uh, back our temporary view. And this is what we want. So, and now we will switch to the level 4. And as you can see, we don't have here on the our under project browser, we don't have the level 4. So, what we're gonna do? Uh, again, we, are, we will go to the view. We will go here to the plan views. And here you will find the floor plans. So, uh, here Revit uh, showing us uh, which levels we still don't have. You can see it here. Don't do not du duplicate existing views. So if I will uncheck it, you will see all the levels. But if you have the checkbox here, you will see only the floors what you don't have inside your project browser. So I will choose the level four and level R. So it means roof. We don't have these two walls, two two plans. Okay. So what next? Let's go to the level four. So we are under level four. We already did here the floor, as you can see, but we still don't have any walls here. So what we're gonna do, we need again copy our floor plan. So you have the thousands ways how you can make your underlay. Uh, but actually, we are trying to work in Revit, but not just uh, making a copy of this building. Anyway, uh, any your way will be okay. So let's align this place. And here is our level four. No, this is level level 4. Let's move it on the right position. I hope it's right position. Let's check it out. Uh, kind of, uh, kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's reset. Maybe we will push it back more. Something like that, maybe a bit more. Like this. So now I can say, yeah, we're doing everything right. So let's hide it. And as you can see, we again have some walls. We have here the 150 walls. And as I can see, it's 100, um, maybe 120. Let's check it out. Let's go to the wall. 
because we used uh, before 150 volt and now Revit uh, giving us the same volt. This is called future. So uh, this is actually this is bigger than 150 as you can see that that one. So this is 200. Let's find 200 here. Yeah, we have so we are lucky so much. So let's do like this. Here I will extend a bit. Uh, I don't like this number. Let's make this, that one. This is much better. Uh, okay, now we will create this wall and this one. And let's try to make it right. So 500 here. This is pretty cool. And let's make one wall here. Uh, as you can see, it should be on the same position as this one. So I will use command align. You can see the which command I'm using here. And let's align it. So how to use align? You know, just select your command align, select the position where you want to move your object, and after that select your object. Done. So pretty easy. So let's do like this. Uh, here is our bathroom. Uh, okay, so we don't have any walls here. We did it. Uh, finally, and uh, here actually it's not the wall. Uh, as I can see, so I will show you right now. Just give me a few seconds. I have the picture here. This is uh, just border. I think it's like hundreds, uh, one thousand two hundred millimeters. But anyway, let's let's create it. Okay, so uh, now we should go to the roof. Uh, let's go to the roof. We have don't have here anything. Anyway, uh, we have the tricky way. I will just select everything, and here we have the offset. Oh, we already did it so nice so let's leave it 900 i think it will be more than enough if you want you can change let's go to 3d view and let's check what's going on here as you can see my walls now sticking to this <coughs> floor actually this is bad thing but we will change it later on so leave it as it is right now uh, so what's going on here uh, here is also our levels so uh-huh as you can see, I don't like the situation what's going on here. Let's change it. I will select this thing and I will use now section box. Why I use the section box? Because now I can manipulate graphically uh, which part I want to see. So let's do like this. And as you can see, this part not so good. Uh, we should change it. Let's change it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so worse. Let's go to the edit boundary. And I will use the line, so we will make our changes here. So maybe this is better. Yeah, this is much better than before. So let it, let's leave it like that. Let's check the previous level. What's going on there? So, but here everything okay, as you can see. Maybe, maybe I will change a bit the size of this one to till the wall and let's check this size everything okay okay let's check it out one more time and maybe let's extend a bit our wall like this so now it's going to make maybe we're trying to make it a bit perfect okay so let's uh, look around to uncheck this view just go to the uh, properties of your window uh, you can find it, for example, now I'm on 3D view, you can see it's here, properties, 3D view, and find uh, uh, here the section box and just uncheck it. Done. And you will see all your 3D in this project. So we did it. And I think that's it for today, because next thing what we will create, this is, will be uh, star cases. And star cases is li really, really long topic. I don't think we will create it like in 5 or 8 minutes, but we will try it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo scripts, or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.